Good morning class. Welcome to Jesus Time Today on this Thursday where we will be talking about the feelings that we find in our Bible lesson about Balaam and his donkey and the angel that was on the road. Let's begin. This is my Bible. I open it wide and learn about Jesus from the words inside. And our Bible passage for the week is still Jeremiah 32 verse 17. Nothing is too hard for God. Remember our sign language for that? Nothing is too hard for God. Thanks for doing that with me. So we were talking about the feelings in our lesson this week. And our first picture was that angel. Now God knew that Balaam was trying to do something that God didn't want Balaam to do. And that's why God sent the angel. The angel was sent by God to stop Balaam and to, to make him stop and remember that he wasn't listening to God. He was disobeying God. And speaking of that, things that are not too hard for God, God's so powerful and he's so, so smart. He even knows how to tell angels what to do. He even knows how to send angels to help Balaam and to help you and me. Um, we have angels around us too. Um, talk about nothing being too hard from God. Um, not even controlling the angels is too hard for him. Um, what a comforting thing to know. That makes me feel happy and it makes me feel safe knowing that God can send angels for me too, even if I can't see them. But I think the angel felt concerned. Concerned because the angel knew that Balaam wasn't doing what he was supposed to be doing. And it was the angel's job to help him remember that. And then what happened? The donkey saw the angel, but Balaam didn't. And when the donkey stopped those three times to try to save Balaam from the angel, what did Balaam do three times? He was angry and he was frustrated at his donkey because he didn't understand what was going on. So he chose to hit. That makes me frustrated at Balaam because we're not supposed to hit. We're not supposed to hit when we get upset. But that's what Balaam did because he didn't understand it. He felt frustrated and angry. But then what did God make happen? What was special? The donkey who if the donkey had feelings, I would say the donkey probably felt afraid, maybe confused. Like, why are you hitting me? I'm trying to help you. There's an angel stopping us and I'm keeping you safe. If I were, would have been the donkey, I'd probably be frustrated at Balaam too. But I'd probably be afraid of him more than frustrated because of the stick he was hitting me with. But God made the donkey talk. And the donkey tried to explain to Balaam what was going on. And when Balaam heard his donkey and then saw the angel, how do you think Balaam felt? Maybe surprised? Maybe now he's the one who's confused even more. And at the end of our lesson, we hear that he sounded sorry, didn't he? He felt bad. He felt guilty for what he did and then he felt sorry. Um, another word for that is repentant. He was sorry for his sins. He was sorry for the things that he did wrong. And that's an, a good way to feel. And it's good to recognize that, to feel, oh, I did something wrong. It doesn't feel good when I do something wrong, but now I can try to change that and I can try to not do that anymore. And we hope that that's what happened with Balaam, right? That he learned his lesson to, number one, listen to God's word and not try to disobey it on purpose. Number two, when you feel frustrated and confused, don't hit because that's not the right thing to do. Um, so that is what I learned from our lesson today, thinking about the feelings. Um, if you've learned anything else, you can always share it with us on our, on our Facebook page, too, if there are any feelings that you felt going through this Bible lesson. Um, I wanted to teach you one thing that might help. It helps me if I'm feeling frustrated and confused, 
and maybe it will help you too. Um, it is one of our, our brain gym moves that we can do. You remember the pretzel where you cross your ankles. I know you can't see my ankles now, but just cross your ankles. And then you do your hand move to clap them together and flip them up. But if that's too hard for you, you can do the really big hug. And if you're frustrated, if you're angry, try to take those big breaths out. So now maybe you're feeling calmed down, but you still don't quite know what to do. If you put your fingers on your forehead and take some more big breaths, Sometimes that can help your brain think about what to do. So fingers to forehead, it's a good way to help think about the problem and find ways um, to fix the problem without doing things that we shouldn't be doing. So hopefully that's something that can help you. Um, it helps me when I need to calm down and think things through. Thanks for joining me today. God bless your day and I will see you tomorrow.